so today we're going to talk about solving equations. And an equation comes in this format with a variable, which for this one is x, which is just a letter that's used to represent a number. So when we solve the equation, our goal is to figure out what value x has for that particular equation. So we're, today we're just going to talk about using substitution, excuse me, subtraction and addition. So here, in order to solve for x, we want to get x by itself, which means that we're going to collect the like terms of 16 and 25. So in order to move this 16 over here mathematically, since this is plus 16, we're going to do the opposite of adding 16, we're going to subtract 16. And we're going to do that from both sides, because in math, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other, otherwise it's not mathematically correct. So we're going to subtract 16 from both sides, and that'll leave us with x on the left and 25 minus 16, which is 9 on the right. So that's how you solve uh, equations using addition and subtraction. So now we're just going to do some examples. Okay, so this time we have negative 100 equals b minus 72. Well, this time we have subtraction. So when we want to get b by itself, we have to do the opposite of subtraction, which is addition. So here we're going to add 72 because that's going to give us 0. And we're going to add 72 to the left as well. And that's going to give us negative 28 is equal to b. OK. So over here, we have parentheses. So if you remember your order of operations, we have to do what's inside here first before we can do anything else to the equation. So we have this side will stay the same, 8 minus 13, which is negative 5. So since we have subtraction on this side, we, in order to undo that, we're going to add 5 and add 5. And here we get w equals 0, which is OK. That is completely an acceptable answer. OK, so over here we have fractions. So the first thing we're going to do is get a common denominator so that we can add or subtract these fractions. So if you look, our least common denominator would be 4. So I multiply the top of this and the top of this and the bottom of this by 2. There. So you'll get 2 fourths is equal to 3 fourths. So in order to undo this addition, I'm going to subtract the 2 fourths over and you get n is equal to 1 fourth. So for this last example, we have um, we have two fractions that are paired with whole numbers. So in order to be able to add and subtract these, we're going to have to write them as an improper fraction. Now if you remember to, how to do that, you take the number out front, multiply it by the bottom of the denominator, so 2 times 5, which is 10, plus this 1 on top, so we get 11 fifths plus x is equal to, we're going to do the same thing on this side, 3 times 2, negative 6 plus 1 over 6, this would be negative 7 6. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why, what I was thinking. You multiply these two and you get negative 6, and then you add it to the 1 over here, so you get negative 7 over 2. You always keep your original denominator. So now we have to get a common denominator in order to subtract these two. So the common denominator here would be 2 times 5, which is 10. So we're going to have to multiply 
this top and bottom by 2 and this top and bottom by 5. So 22 over 10 plus x is equal to negative 35 over 10. Because you remember we multiply the tops and the bottoms together. So now, since this is, sub this is addition, we are going to subtract 22 tenths from both sides and we're going to be left with negative 35 minus 22 which is negative 57 over 10. x is equal to negative 57 tenths. Now you can write this as a mixed number but I'm just going to leave it like that. But if you can reduce, you always want to reduce, but this one won't reduce right here. So now that we learned solving equations with addition and subtraction, make sure you come back and we're going to move on to solving equations with multiplication and division.